Independents and Democrats solidified their coalition, signing a unity pledge agreeing on policy issues, including health care, the workforce, and infrastructure. I will make sure that we follow the pledge 100 percent. This is for our people, and we need to take our government back. At the top of their agenda is opening up the Commonwealth's financial books. KUAM asked Lieutenant Governor Arnold Palacios why not do that now while he's still in office with direct access. I wish that was true to us, but I don't. I don't have access to the financial management system as it is today. The only access I have to the financial management system is to the account of the Lieutenant Governor. That revelation, a sign of the times as both parties make an aggressive push to win the runoff election on November 25th. Republican candidates held a press conference of their own late Tuesday where they discussed health and fitness to serve. My concern is I know the effort I put into. What is a community going to get for somebody that does not have the ability, the capability or the willingness because of what has transpired in the last two years? Palacios Apatang responded to attacks on their health and fitness. Fit to leave. I have it here and I have it here. He himself is hardly the picture of fitness. <laughs> and I mean fitness in any sense of that word. Not just physical fitness, moral fitness, intellectual fitness. Ralph Torres is unfit to lead as governor. Sablon staffers say they're not seeking jobs from Palacios Apatang if independents win, but rather have their focus on the vision and priorities. Tomas Manglonia for KUAM News on Saipan.